everyone, Stormy Strike here, and welcome to my annual Briar Halloween unboxing. So with me here today, I have all of the 2022 Briar Halloween models. I even have all three variations of the Spooky Stablemates this year. I felt the bags. I was lucky enough to get three different ones, so I do not have to do any trading and can show you all of them in this video. Without further ado, let's start getting right into it. Let's start off with the traditional scale model Maelstrom. Maelstrom is a very cool take on a spooky pirate themed horse. I really like the idea that they're doing some different themes for the Halloween horses. His box has a cool image on the back here with Maelstrom on it and has a nice little description talking about his eerie skeletal pirates. So now let's go ahead and open his box up. Here he is and oh my goodness he is so gorgeous. His color is so cool. I feel like once Briar realized that people like these really cool kind of interfacey, color changing, iridescent colors and such, they've uh, decided to just put them on a bunch of models and I am absolutely here for it. Just look at that beautiful green coat. It is gorgeous and it does pop even more with that lovely top coat of gloss. It is a very nice Halloween green because it's kind of green, but it's also got kind of a bit of yellow going on to it in a way, making it kind of like a sickly, ghostly kind of green, I suppose. The face on this guy is just lovely. Look at those beautiful, kind of bright, goldish looking eyes. They also appear to be metallic, so they really pop even against this uh, shiny green going on. It's got a black mane, and then we move down to his really cool pirate markings. These are so fun. I like how these are kind of subtle too. Like you have to take a second to really look at them to see what you're looking at, but there's a little pirate skeleton there. And then further down on his rump, he has a, another one that looks like it's kind of like reaching out and grabbing. There might even be images and shapes I'm missing in here. So if you see me miss anything, please feel free to let me know. Go ahead to his other side. Here he has a neat little ghostly pirate ship and it kind of looks like there's a little bat above it there. That's really neat. I like that little image a lot. And again, it feels like you have to kind of almost look for it. You don't see it right away, or at least I don't right now. Over here, it seems like a seagull. It looks kind of more like a seagull than a bat. And another ghostly little pirate dude. And there's yet another one up here. This one's got a hat and a sword. While probably not my absolute favorite Halloween horse they've done, he's probably up there. I just think his design is so well done, so well thought out. I love his color. I also do like the Desitato mold. It's not one of my favorite molds, but I do like it a lot. I think it is a very nice mold. Oh, and it's hard to tell, but I'm getting a little bit of a sunlight peeking in through the window and it's kind of making his iridescent color even look blue at the top there, kind of like a bluish green. Now, along with this guy, they did do a matching pin to go along with him. I do like the Briar pins a lot. And as much as I would like to have all of them, I try to limit myself to just the ones I really like because I already have too many things I collect. I have to uh, be a little more careful about what I get. But this one was definitely a must for me. I had to have a Halloween horse pin of this guy. And I forgot to mention, but this pin and also this guy are supposed to glow in the dark. And I think I'm gonna save the glow in the dark for the end of the video. So stick around to the end if you want to see this pin and this model glow in the dark. Let's go on now to the Halloween plush for this year. This, I believe, is the fourth Halloween plush that they have done. I really love these little Halloween plush horses. I think they are so cute, and I've just been kind of collecting the little Briar plush horses in general that are the ones, like, themed to different holidays and such. I just think they are so cute and fun. So this one's name is Skelly, and you can probably guess why it's called Skelly. Looks like it's got a little skeleton. This is another one that I just really love the design. I think it is so fun and incorporates so many fun things. 
I love the cute little bone face. I love the little orange and black striped legs that look like stockings. And then also gotta love the fun purple and black striped mane and tail. Oh yes, and of course the little skeleton design on the back. Just such a cute little plush. I love it. And it does also come with a little hang tag and such. Now let's open up Tabitha, the Halloween classic model for this year. And I of course have to point out before we move on, this awesome, awesome box design. I really love this. Really fun pattern that has cauldrons and spooky cats and witch hats. But it also includes some molds that have been used as Briar Halloween horses in the past. There is the little rearing Mustang that was Eek last year. And I did do a video on him and those other Halloween models last year. There is the one for Tabitha this year. There is the little thoroughbred guy that was for Rats Putin. And then there's also the American Saddlebred that was used for Salem. Time to unbox. All right, here is Tabitha. And as you can possibly see, she is kind of a witch themed model, which I think is really cool. The only thing I'm not super crazy about is the fact she is a lot more blue than purple compared to the stock photo. Personally, would have just liked it if she was a lot more purpley than blue, but she is still really cool. And she does have pretty much the same kind of purpley, bluish, interfacey, whatever you would call it, color changing. I don't know the correct terms as the blue troubadour model that came out for Briarfest. I do actually have that guy and I could compare their color, except I don't know which box he's in exactly. And right now I really don't feel like trying to find him and pull him out for this video right now. But unlike him, Tabitha here is matte instead of glossy. It would be kind of nice if she was glossy, but I do think she is also fine in matte. We'll go ahead and get a closer look at her and her beautiful coloring and details and such. So here you're really getting a sense of that really pretty metallic blue going on. And then she does have a bit of purple. Even though she is mostly blue look looking, she does have a bit of that purple going on. It really just kind of depends on the lighting and how the light hits her. So on this side of her, it looks like she's got kind of this really interesting moon shape. It's kind of a weird crescent moon because it's got this like bit in the middle, but I'm guessing it's either supposed to be a kind of a crescent moon or just maybe a moon with clouds in front of it. I'm not too sure, but it is a neat looking shape. Could also be an E, I suppose. I don't know what the E would stand for, but <laughs> there's possibly an E, whatever you'd like to interpret it as. This is a witch here. There's the witch hat and the witch with like her hair coming out here and holding a broom. And then there's like little stars surrounding her. I really like that. That's really neat. Tabitha has a very cute face. Very sweet looking. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. If it's even supposed to be anything, it might just be like a pinto marking. Again, there's more stars and another witch here. This one looks like she has a wand. And then, again, yeah, not entirely sure what's going on over here, but that might possibly be a bat. Not too sure, or if it's a, a potion, possibly. This almost looks like it could be a potion bottle. Again, not really sure, and you can kind of interpret these however you would like, I suppose. On her belly, it does say Tabitha. I realized I forgot to show that uh, Maelstrom also on his belly says Maelstrom 2022, but it's a little hard to see because it's uh, yellow against the green. She has some pretty kind of a uh, grayish, but also bluish colored hooves down here. She does have her little hang tag. All of the Briar Classic Halloween models so far, I believe, have all had little hang tags. And yeah, there's pretty much a Tabitha there. She is really pretty. I know a lot of people don't like her mold, and her mold isn't my favorite either, but honestly, if a model has a really good coloring like this and really cool design, I don't even care too much what mold it is. I just like the design overall, then I'm going to really like it. And same with this girl. Even though I don't normally collect this mold, I think she looks absolutely fantastic. I really like her and really wouldn't change anything about her other than, like I said, I'd like her to be more purple just because I love purple. It's my favorite color. But gorgeous overall another just absolute winner for this year's halloween models 
Last but not least, let's open up the spooky surprise stable mates. I love these Halloween stable mates. They are so cool and I feel like so well done every year. Let's see who this one feels like. This feels like the little draft, which matches the Casper ghost design full. And yep, that is him. This guy is so cute. And I do love that these stable mates are like little copies of previously done Briar Halloween models. I think that is just so fun. I love these little ghost designs on him. He's even got a really teeny tiny ghost on his forehead. That's actually really impressive that they were able to get that little marking done so small. I am very impressed by these guys. And he even has a tiny bit of glitter. And this is like really small glitter too, not like big chunks or anything. It is like in scale with him in a way. Very tiny amount of glitter and it looks gorgeous. I also love this deep purple color. His hooves are also masked off and look really good. He is just a, wow, fantastic looking model. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I believe this guy maybe is supposed to glow in the dark as well. So he will be another one I'll add to the uh, models. We'll test out how much they glow. Next here is the little guy that's supposed to be a miniature of Mischief Knight. Mischief Knight was actually the first Halloween classic model. And here he is on the little, I don't know how to pronounce this one's name. I always mess it up. This one is so pretty too. Oh my goodness. I don't know if the tail is normally like this, but I feel like this one has like a little chip in his tail possibly. Not entirely sure, like a mold chip and then it was painted over. I don't know. It's not a huge deal though. I just happened to notice that. Oh, look how pretty he is though. He's got a very pretty kind of shiny, pearly white going on. And then we have these awesome black markings with these cats. Love the little striping on the legs. Hooves are also pearly. Little moon on his neck. And again, teeny tiny marking, a little tiny moon on his forehead. And then another moon and more cats on the other side here. These guys look so good and again, just pretty amazing. These are all like masked off markings and they really look good. There is a tiny bit of overspray on the cat's tail there, which is understandable. That's like a really kind of tricky crevice there to uh, not get overspray on. But otherwise, oh my gosh, they look so good. Briar does such a good job on these guys. I know they are a little more on the pricey side. They are normally $25 each. But I think it's worth it to me anyway for how much I love the Halloween models because they really do look good and are very well detailed. So the last one here is a mini version of Sawin and is another draft horse here on the uh, Belgian draft stablemate mold. This one I think is maybe also supposed to glow, or at least the original model is, the uh, traditional scale one. So again, I'll test out all these guys and see if they glow or not. This one has some cool little gold hooves and the really neat pumpkin patch scene going on here. Got little pumpkins, scarecrow, ghosts, and cornstalks. There's a ghost on the haunches there, even a moon. There's just like so much going on on this model, just like the traditional one. Again, really teeny tiny little bat marking on the forehead. Or actually, maybe that's more of a ghost. I guess it's supposed to be more of a ghost look. And on the other side, another moon. More ghosts and corn stalks, a fence, and pumpkins. This one is like extra intricate too because it's actually got the uh, two different layers of colors being masked off. So that is really impressive in my opinion. Again, that they're able to do this on these teeny tiny little stable mates. And they look amazing. Like there's like no overspray on this model that I can tell. It's incredibly well done. I know a lot of people are complaining about the uh, flaws on Briars recently, but I've gotten really lucky and feel like all of the models I've gotten as of late have been next to flawless. They're really great and I am so happy with them. There are all three of the little stable mates together. I love all three of them. They are so fantastic and I'm so excited to add them to my collection. 
Now it's time to see these models glow in the dark. Here are the spooky surprise stable mates glowing. It's hard to see on the saw one one, but it is glowing a little bit. The drafter one glows the most, and the mischief knight one does glow a little bit. It's a little hard to see, but it does in fact glow. The classic model Tabitha here glows pretty well and looks really cool. Here is the traditional scale model Maelstrom glowing in the dark. He glows quite well. So technically, all of the Halloween items here, except for the plush, all glow in the dark. Although some glow a little better than others. There are all the Briar 2022 Halloween horses! And yes, I know Maelstrom is standing on his hose right now. That's because it's harder to frame it when he's rearing. I'm sorry, I don't normally display my rearing horses like that, don't worry. I really am just super happy and impressed with the Halloween models this year. There have been years where like one or two of the models in the lineup I'm not like super crazy about. But this year in particular I just absolutely love every single one of these models. I love their designs, I love their colors, I just love everything about these guys. This was a really really great year for Briar Halloween horses and as always I'm excited to see what they end up coming up with next year too. If you want to check out my previous Briar Halloween horse videos, I will have a link to those in the description down below and at the end of this video. Do you have a model from this year's Halloween lineup that is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. For myself, I, I don't think I can even pick. I love them all so much. Subscribe for future model horse unboxings and other model horse content. Thank you for watching, have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!